Okay, about, about uh, we are all here even though we're talking <laughs> about Bishop Dudley and Minister Mary. Uh, reopening and breakfast with them yesterday, as I mentioned, and we did, they didn't actually didn't talk too much about their experience in Korea, but they mentioned a couple of things, and so I'll just share that. So the first thing was, while they were there, which was for a week, they went to the military museum in Korea, and this is the Veterans Museum. That was, Dr. Bishop Bailey said that was very interesting. And then they went to the Han River Bridge, and of course, the Han River Bridge, in all this memoir, we know that as mother was uh, evacuated from North Korea to South Korea, and her family just made it over the Han River Bridge when it was destroyed by the South Koreans so that the North Koreans wouldn't be able to invade Seoul. So they visited the Han River Bridge, and Minister Marion said, you know, just to, to be there in Korea and experience the places which she's been reading about in Mother's Memoir was very touching. Mr. Dudley said that for him, the high point of uh, time spent with Mother was they were with Mother together, and the young people from, or second gen from America, were performing a song. And he couldn't remember which song it was, but it was a gospel song or a Christian contemporary song, and he knew it. You know, he knew it. So he stood up and started singing together. And then all the ACLC ministers stood up and started singing this song together with young people from America. And it was so inspiring because for Koreans, the Koreans would never do that. They're very reserved. They would never stand up and start singing along. And he, he for him, that was the high point of the entire time. Yeah, about that. Okay. Um, oh, also about the hot dogs. So I came yesterday to drop the cake off at the church, and I was as I was driving by Dr. Broadnax's church, which is just two blocks down on Club Boulevard, and he's a, a connection of, I mean, we, he's been to our meeting here, and uh, Ann and Sharon and Stephanie know him very well, and they were selling hot dogs, so I stopped in to see Dr. Broadnax, just to show my face, you know? And he had on a, uh, it was a hot dog shirt, it was Toronto Maple Leafs, so I said, are you a hockey fan? He said, no. He said, I'm obsessed. And I'm obsessed with hockey. And he also has, evidently he has his Detroit Red Wings shirt. He's not a Carolina Hurricanes fan. <laughs> but, but he's a big hockey fan. And you know, did you go back to Colorado? I did. OK. Yeah, it was so really good to see him. He had a good time. Yeah. yeah. He, he's a great guy. We're trying to, to show our face and, and just you know, inviting to, to the events that we have here. So, uh, very great guy. All right, um, now I'm going to uh, announcements. <clears throat> Next week, uh, our message is going to be given by my esteemed friend and brother, Mark Nelson. Oh. It's you. No, it's you. Montana <laughs> Mark. Montana Mark. I'm going to put that in the weekly update. Can I? Can I put that in the um, And then the week after that, of course, would be Mother's Day. And I'm giving a message on Mother's Day. It's not going to have anything to do with Mother's Day. I know that already. But, um, but we pray for all our brothers and sisters who are going to be uh, doing Father's Day with us. All right. Please remember to call your mom. Are there any more announcements? <clears throat>